Hey guys, it's me, Vanessa. I'm here to make my week 49 post-op VSG surgery. Those who don't know my story, back in January of 2014, I was at my highest weight of 280 pounds. I decided to get the weight loss surgery vertical sleeve gastrectomy, where they take 85 to 90, well maybe 80 to 90% of your stomach out. And I am down, well, okay, let me start with when I started. Um, surgery date was March 13th, uh, 2017, and I started at 235.2 pounds. And this morning I weighed in at 158.8. That is a loss this week of 0 0.8, a loss in surgery of 76.4, and a total loss from my highest weight of 121.2 pounds. So, I get to talk about phase one. Um, I am very, very happy. Uh, as far as surgery-wise, I, I could not be happier uh, with my progress and where I'm at. I am a little under nine pounds from my goal that my surgeon set for me. Um, he actually set 171st and I went past that. And he set 160, went past that. So now we're looking at 145 to 150. So my next goal is just to get to 150. Um, but I'm really focusing, not necessarily reaching 150 as fast as I can. What I'm really focusing on is getting healthy and getting my fat percentage down. So I will get in March, I will get a DEXA scan. So I'll be able to see my fat percentage and my bone density. So I'll see kind of where I'm at and on, you know, like really how much I need to lose because there's a lot of people who weigh a lot more and are lower in body fat. So I'm, I'm focusing because I'm building muscle, I'm focusing body fat more than just the, you know, weight on the scale. But 150, 150 would be great if I can reach that. Like I said, I'm about nine pounds from that. So yay. Um, okay. So how this, this first phase went, uh, those who don't know, I am doing 80 day obsession. It's a beach body program. Uh, if you guys need info, let me know. I am running my next group starting today, uh, with prep week. So there's still time, still time to get in and get started. Um, and if you're not ready for 80 day obsession, that's okay. I can get you in any, any, um, program to get added to the group. So just let me know. Um, but okay. So I started this, this journey, um, with this program in the one sixties. So with four weeks of playing on um, staying on plan, I am down, um, 8.2 pounds and I'm down 3.5 inches on my entire body. Now I was like, wow, 3.5, that's really low. But I realized I gained just in my arms, I gained 0.5 <coughs> in both arms. Um, I lost an inch on my chest. I lost an inch on my waist and I lost an inch on my stomach. I mean my hips. And then, um, I lost 0.25 on each thigh. So I was losing weight, you know, all throughout, but I gained on my arms, which is, that's great. Um, but what was really crazy was I, since the very beginning, I always, you know, of course get my smallest point on my waist. Um, I measured that, but I also measure the biggest part. So I know, you know, a lot of people who are apple shaped, they have, you know, like a lot of fat on their stomach. And so that was me. And so I decided, well, you know, let me go ahead and measure the largest part around like my belly button and see, you know, how much I lose on there. And I lost just in the four weeks, I lost three inches just in that biggest part of my stomach. So I am definitely making progress. I am so excited. Um, I'm excited for, uh, for phase two. So phase one went pretty well as far as my eating. I stayed on track all 27 days. The 28th day, well, it was like the second week that I was on plan a Saturday. I did a beer fest in Bruges. So I didn't stay on track 100% that day, but I did also track everything and, and I was very mindful of what I was eating. I was trying to find balance uh, with everything, but I, I stuck to my plan majority of this four weeks. And this has been a real struggle for me because I'm a binge eater and I always get scared of having something really structured, strict, and I did it. Four weeks I did it and I'm, I'm, 
I'm ready. I'm ready for the next four weeks. Um, this program is in three phases. So uh, the first phase was mostly just the, the burning fat and getting used to the moves. Phase two and phase three are more about building, building muscle. So that is my goal. I'm gonna bump up in weights when I need to. I have the weights I need, so I'm very happy about that. And I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready to see huge results. I'm, I'm excited, I love it. So I will post in, um, on my Facebook and Instagram my results. I still need to take my, my after pictures um, to compare them. Um, but I'll post those and then if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll see it as a thumbnail of my before and after. But I'm just, I'm so, so happy. This, this program was scary just because, you know, it is advanced. It's not one of those that you can just do as a beginner and just get into it. Yeah, you could do it because you'd have to modify and they have modifications for everything, right? But I really highly encourage people to, I highly encourage people to do something first that's more basic and to get the basics of weight training down and then you can build up on this and it's it's amazing it's it's the best results i've gotten in any program that i've done and that's just because of i've been following the nutrition plan the other programs i did i i did my own thing and so this i'm i'm following it to a t i'm making sure that i'm getting in all of the calories needed and it's it's insane how much I eat. Uh, I haven't craved really any foods. Uh, I'm during the time of the month right now, so I'm noticing that I want like a cookie or I want you know a piece of chocolate and stuff. But it's not so strong of a craving that I feel like I need to cave in um, because I'm eating every three hours. I'm making sure that I feed my body and I'm feeding it like a good balance of food. So I'm getting a good balance of carbohydrates, uh, proteins vegetables. I'm getting also in a lot of um, healthy fats. So it's well balanced. It's really good, really good plan. Um, but yeah, so that's about it. It's going to be short and sweet and I will see you all next Monday um, with my next weekly and coming up on the 13th of March will be my one year post-op and I'm going to be doing what I eat in a day and I'll be kind of sharing throughout the day. I might do it two days. So you guys can see two different days, um, like a weekday and then a weekend and see the difference between it. Even though right now, because I'm on a stricter plan, it's really not like that. I don't know. I'll think of, of what to do for that day. Um, but yeah, so look out for that and have a good week. Bye.